In making this scene, I put a little bit of finish on, move the camera, take a picture. Then I put a little finish on, move the camera, take a picture. I did this 275 times. The following is about how I move the camera in a precise way to make this stop motion. So this is the setup that I used to make the scene where I'm putting finish on the back of the desk. It consists of the track, which sits on my work table and just happened to be at about the right height when it's sitting on my work table. And on top of the track is a dolly, and the dolly move, I can move the dolly back and forth, and there's a string that goes into my gearbox that's in the foreground there, and that's winding up around a dowel, and that pulls the dolly along. And that string needs to be under tension, so there's a tensioning string that goes on the other side of the dolly and goes up the pole to a pulley and back down to some weights, and that holds the strings in tension. In making the track and the dolly, I cut two 10-foot pieces of ABS pipe. I think they're two-inch diameter pipe. And I use the nine-foot section as the track, and I, I attach that to a frame to make it a little stiffer. And the two shorter pieces I made into the dolly, and I used those as the chassis to hold the wheels to the platform. There's a bunch of videos on the internet about how to do this. I attach two roller blade wheels to each end of the short pieces of pipe and my my bolts were a little too short so I had to put the bolt on the inside of the of the pipe which is a little bit difficult and then I attached those pipes to a piece of plywood and that made the dolly and you can see this is my first test I just put the camera on top of the platform and then pushed the dolly along and it worked really well it's nice and smooth and I have an old tripod where one of the legs had broken but I could use the head from the tripod so I made a little mount for the tripod head on the platform of the dolly and it's just a simple platform that I can bolt the head to and that meant I could mount the camera and aim the camera in different directions from the dolly. In doing a stop motion I had to move the dolly somewhat of a precise movement with every frame so I made the gear system so that I could pull the string along a set amount for each frame. I tried a version where I didn't use the gearbox and I just moved it by hand and there was too much variation in the stop motion. Now for the gears I printed some patterns from Matthias's gear generator on his website which is very helpful and then it was just a matter of cutting those out and yes this is where having a CNC machine would be really nice but I did it by hand. The technique I came up with was to drill a hole in the center and then mount the gear in the center and then I could sand the outside edge to make a perfect circle and I could drill the bottoms of each gear tooth out which meant I had a perfect circle with the bottoms perfectly drilled out and then I just had to cut each tooth and it went, went, went actually went pretty quickly and gave me a pretty even gear. So for making the animation, I turned the little gear half a turn for each frame. So that's the setup. Thanks for watching.